Yo, so guys, welcome to the today. I'm back on my F1 2019 career mode. This time we're in Canada for this one. So, um, yeah, last time, you know, well, the last video I uploaded was quite a while ago, so, yeah, I apologize about, you know, my upload schedule not being too great. But, yeah, um, I'm, well, back in for my career mode now. And now some of you may have saw my live stream a few days ago of me using Will. Uh, I'm actually not using Will right now, I'm using Controller, just for the fact that I'm still practicing to get good, because I'm definitely not good enough to be doing my career mode or SL races yet with my Will, but I'm just carrying on practicing off camera, but uh, yeah, let's just jump straight into qualifying. Hello and welcome from the circuit Gilles Villeneuve, home to the Canadian Grand Prix for today's qualifying session. I want to talk briefly about the strategy in these qualifying sessions. Anthony Davidson, how can a driver adjust their approach to gain those critical extra tenths of a second? Well, qualifying isn't about adjusting your approach necessarily. It's more about trying to repeat a low fuel run that you've practiced prior to this session. You're looking for perfection on the lap, and that's hard to achieve if you're trying something new. There are some variables that can stand in your way, however. Track position or unexpected yellow flags, for example. Coupled with ever-changing track conditions, it's important to be out there at the right moment. But as a driver, you have to try and ignore these distractions and just keep your mind focused on that one perfect lap. Right, okay, here we go then. So in Canada, uh, let's see. Okay, so no rain throughout this uh, video, but kind of annoying because I kind of wanted a bit of rain because we haven't got any yet. But um, yeah, let's just jump straight out for our first lap then, I suppose. Okay, well, no. A bit of slipstream and we're second at the moment and Leclerc has actually gone first obviously because he's in Ferrari but uh, yeah we've had a terrible first corner there I was going to carry on and try and get another lap but there's no point now but also bad let's just hope he keeps pushing come on Norris don't slow down don't slow down come on don't slow down all right good Norris all right we're still down we need to gain this time back hopefully around here we'll gain it back all right come on slipstream Oh, we're still a tenth down. Yeah, we're not going to do this. Yeah, this lap's been ruined, basically. Oh, no, it hasn't. We've got up again. Come on. Slipstream. Come on. P8, but we, we can do one more lap. We'll try and complete one more lap. I mean, it might not be as good because we've got this Hass in the way of Grosjean. Right, where did we start then? Eighth. Okay, cool. I ain't too bad, I guess. With qualifying finished, it's time to remind ourselves of our top three. Hamilton, Bottas and Charles Leclerc. With qualifying complete, all that remains is the main event. We'll be live and uninterrupted for the Grand Prix tomorrow, so make sure you join us then. We're back once again beside the St. Lawrence River here in Montreal for the Canadian Grand Prix. The event first moved to a variant of this track back in 1978. It was won by none other than Gilles Villeneuve, the first Canadian to ever win his home race and in whose honour the circuit would be renamed. If you want flat out racing, you've come to the right place this weekend as it's full throttle for 59% of this 2.7 mile circuit peaking at around 210 miles per hour going into the final chicane. But that speed requires discipline, and there are more than a few close walls here just waiting to punish drivers with a heavy right foot. Joining me for the Grand Prix once again is Anthony Davidson. Now, I want to ask you about Lando Norris. As with all the drivers at this level, they have a lot of ambition. But Formula One's a daunting step up from any other series, so expectations are high right from the start. And this is something that has ended the career of many a young driver, as that leap up to Formula One proves to be too much. But luckily in this case, I'd say they're doing a good solid job, and the risk the team took in signing them is definitely starting to pay off. This is a really good starting position for us. Let's try not to lose it. Alright, yeah, I'll try not to, Jeff. I swear on the content, David Croft and Andy Davison says the same thing every time. Like, just about Lando Norris, I swear down. Here we go then. Let's try and get a good start. 
So it's five lights. And it's lights out of way we go. Jesus Christ, that was really quick lights. And Verstappen gets away really nicely. Actually, I just realised Verstappen so far down the grid. But we dive back down inside of Verstappen. Oh, we've made contact. We've made contact with Perez, which isn't good. We've got a bit of throttling damage now. And that's going to make us go completely out wide. And Magnussen's well, down my inside there. And well, that's not a great start at all. Um, with throttling damage. We're probably going to have to change that as well. Depending on how bad it is. And Magnussen on the grass there. Almost completely gets taken out by Verstappen. We're going to dive straight back down this of Magnussen. Who leaves me no room. But I'm back up to P9. And sadly we've lost the position to well Verstappen. But that's okay. We'll keep pushing on. And uh, as Magnussen has got to look down my inside now. And he does look down my inside. And I've completely shoved him. And well that's well he's lost that place completely. Right here we go for a replay of the start then. So it is five red lights. And it's lights down, away we go here, such quick lights there. And we have, well, a all white start, it could have been better, but not too bad. And Verstappen jumps us straight away, but we try back down the inside again. We go straight into the back of players, and we've lost a bit of our front wing, which is really not great. And now Magson's even trying to get past me, so we'll try and defend off him. But we're going to have to try and get past him again now, because he has actually got past me. So I will try and maybe a risky move down the inside in a bit. Um, maybe not too risky, but he goes on the grass a bit there, so... That's really not good, and we do try and move down this side, and he just completely turns into the side of me, pushes me off, and I get a bit more forming damage to add. But, um, yeah, not a great start, but it's alright, not too bad. Right, so, we're preparing our form wing, we're going hard to the end, and, uh, yeah, well, let's see how this can play out. That was our last stop. No more scheduled pit stops. Yeah, okay, thank you, Jeff. Right, okay, let's go out and, well, we're in dead last, obviously. And Signs, my teammate Signs is in 18th as well. Jeez, that's a, that's a bit of a shock. So, um, yeah, both McLaren's are doing well today at the moment then. Obviously, me being one of them. But that's okay, we'll, we'll try and catch up because obviously we're on hard now and we're going hard to the end. And uh, if we could just keep the pace, you know, keep a fast pace. We should be alright. We should be able to, you know, maybe think about getting back up high up again, maybe even points, and then we'll try and have to battle to the end because everyone else is going to be on mediums, I think. Ah, so Carlos is in the pits then. We should get out ahead of him because, well, he was inside the pit stop distance. And Weber, he's pitted as well. Hopefully, get past both of them. Well, we will easily get past both of them. Who else is that? That's Magson, I think. It is Magson, so we do get ahead of Magson as well, so we'll still be in the points, which is great news. And a long battle to the end. Reduce the and there's more people in the pits. Oh, great, I need to reduce the ERS as well. That's just... That just makes my life so much easier, doesn't it? Wait, some people are actually coming out on hards as well. What the heck? What is that strategy? Okay, I need to go to none for a little bit. Hopefully, I can defend off Magson still. <laughs> oh, Magson, it slips through me with DOS. Oh, he's going to try and ride around the outside. But well, obviously, we break so late. We've got a little out wide, though. He's still battling back. Oh, I'm going to have to defend the inside line down here. Oh, God. This is the worst corner for me ever. Oh, my days. Oh, he's just turned into me, but he's made the move. Oh, my days. I cannot believe that. I cannot believe that. Magson just absolutely done me over there. So he just dives right around the outside here. Goes right around the outside, leaves me no room. Takes over room off my wing, but makes him mistake perfectly, which is a shame. Damn, this is going to be a massive battle to the end now. So... Obviously, with Carlos DOS now, and he slips through me really nicely through it. But luckily, I managed to still keep it just before the corner. But the problem is, it's coming up here now. Let's see if he'll try and move down the inside. He doesn't, luckily, but I go massively out wide. And he probably is going to try and move now. But he doesn't, luckily. Now I'm trying to have to like, keep pushing. Oh, he's going to have massive DOS, though, so I'm going to flip up to Rich. I'm going to try everything now just to keep ahead. But nah, the DOS is just so OP. And the next car, which is Stroll, is miles, so that's okay. Uh, but I'll keep with Ricardo and see if I can... Oh god, okay, this this thing is steering. Like, I don't even know what. 
Oh my days, this is not great. Right, I'll just keep with Ricardo and see if I can get DRS down A straight, but obviously him being on the better tyre and the newer tyre on that side as well, it's going to be difficult. Yeah, we don't get the best of exits, but it's a fairly decent exit anyway. And now he's going to slipstream me perfectly, and yeah, yeah, he just, he just, he just glides past with that DRS. It's insane how powerful DRS is, but through the wall of champions, he doesn't hit it. Which is a shame. I was hoping you'd hit it, but we're going to try and slipstream all the way up here. And even slipstream doesn't compare to DRS. It's that well overpowered, really. DRS that even when I've literally got slipstream on him as well, which I cannot get past. And oh no, here we go. Here we go then. McLaren versus McLaren, and he's on the better tyre. This is not going to go great. Oh, he's 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 absolutely done me over on that corner. I'm going to keep pushing anyway. I will have DRS on stroll, so. I guess that's a, a, a bit of defending that will help me out, so I'll flip the DRS open perfectly. But obviously I'm going to be out of slipstream now. And besides so looking around the outside, I leave him the room. But he, he bats out of it, fair enough. So I'm actually out of DRS right now, and Signs is still in DRS. He's slipstreaming me and DRSing me really nicely, if that's even a word. And he tries right down the other side. I'm going to leave him the room, but there's not really much room I can leave down there. And I, I, I managed to survive luckily, so does Signs. So I'm still in P12, luckily, and there's a three-way battle, four-way battle going on up here. So I could maybe try and get involved in this, and they're getting blocked up massively. And this is from P8, so P8 to, well, P12, basically. Well, further than P12, actually. All in a battle, really. And Raikkonen is, is actually behind me now, so my old teammate, I can't really be beaten by him. But it looks like I am going to be if I don't push a bit harder and Devin Butler's out of the set oh it was Devin Butler not Albon oh yeah I forgot about that so uh, yeah I apologize about that but yeah we're gonna count on so four laps remaining can we hold this off for four laps and maybe still have a chance for points it's not all over yet there's a three-way battle going up here I think they're three alongside each other and Mike has just glided past me but I'm gonna break really late once again and try and get past and Grosjean he's had a, such a bad exit out of there I've just flown past him I might have cut the corner a little bit but that, that is that's fair enough for me. I don't care. That's fair enough for me. And oh my god, Ricardo and Stroll having a battle. And now we will get near us again. This time on Ricardo and Slipstream. Let's see if we can Slipstream and maybe make a move into turn one. We are Slipstream Ricardo and obviously he doesn't have DRS. And we are going to dive straight down inside of Ricardo who leaves me no room and completely smashes me into the side. And that's probably, yeah, no, it hasn't caused us any damage. But we make a move on him. He's still alongside of us. But we're just going to break super late here. And we've, complete, we've completely taken Ricardo out. And Ricardo's out. So yes, side by side with Ricardo there. Really nicely. But he's still battling on with me. Obviously because he would have had a better exit up there. Because of better tyres. But through here, I'm going to break super late. And I can't leave him no space and completely take him out. And well, that's blocked up everyone else. There we go. That's the thumbnail. All opening up here. Look at that. Wheel to wheel. And just touching as well. Perfect. Right, here we come then. P10 in Canada. Nice. Alright, race over. Take care of the car on the way in. Let's see how the driver's standings have changed. It wasn't the best weekend for our championship leader, and their advantage at the top has been reduced. After an incredible day of racing, who was your driver of the day, Ant? Well, it's absolutely got to be Alexander Albon, no hesitation. He put in a performance today that's only going to build further upon his already growing reputation. It's time to check out the constructors' standings. The current championship leaders still hold top spot, but that gap is getting smaller. Well, that was certainly an incredible weekend of racing. Be sure to join myself and Ant for more exciting Formula One action soon. Yeah, it was a pretty decent race. Definitely had better because of that result wasn't too great. But it wasn't too bad. So yeah, at the moment we're in ninth in the championship. And we're being our teammate. He's in 14th, so yeah, that's great for us. Yeah, McLaren are in seventh, so I think I think we should be best of the rest. So I think if we if we get up to P4 by the end of the season, I'll be happy with that. But it's gonna be difficult. So yeah, that's, uh, well, another part of my career mode. So if you enjoyed this video, then make sure to like, subscribe. But thank you for watching, and goodbye.